Today I want to show you what you can do when your dojo has a bad internet connection. This is an example here. I've got an offline server which runs on my computer. I can start it and the virtual machine comes up. That's I use VMware player for this. And this is also online. So now the VM starts and also has a web server on it. Once it is started, it will tell us the IP address so we can connect to it. Okay, IP address is um, Now we've got the website of the offline server running. So you can see like um, it's in German now. And we have several tutor tutorials for beginners, for example, or just with blocks, or with some syntax you have to fulfill, so we have to write some code, and also some like tools, for example, editors you can use. And yeah. We can, we can try it out, so for example if you use Lightbot, we can download the Android APK file, which isn't there now, it needs to be put there manually, or we can download the zip file, in which we can play Lightbot then. Also we've got better served um, the Blockly games for example where you have the Blockly wiki for the offline games. Now we can choose for example English and for example do the maze tutorial. <laughs> yeah, move forward, move forward and play. I don't know what play is. <laughs> it's actually not visible because of the resolution. So, and there are some other tutorials too. For example, you can use App Inventor offline. You will recognize that the authentication is different here. And we've got a test application here. And we can, for example, save the APK file. And it will be built on the, on the machine. Yeah. And now I've, I could save the APK file. And what I'm proud of and very thankful is uh, that we also, like, we have two tutorials with Python and for JavaScript, but also Code Combat. The, the guy Nick from Code Combat was nice and gave us the beginner campaign, the Kithgard dungeon of Code Combat. So there's a three our tutorial available where you can play code combat in the offline stuff. Ah. Okay, that's not possible because of the religion now. So yeah. And of course we've got some tools, for example you need to download Sublime Text. Yeah. So that's that's the 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 website so far, the idea is that most of the stuff, like except App Inventor and Code Combat, can also be distributed on the USB stick and you get the exact same website so it is static. Let's have a look at the internals. So I can log in at the VM if you like it. You can leave a note and I can give you the VM. So there's a folder of line materials. In this you've got like different different folders, for example, the active modules, the inactive modules, and just the folder where all modules are in, and the bin folder. And now I can use this script modules.sh, which tells me how to use it and which modules are there, which are the same modules. 
that are in modules in the modules folder and the idea is to, to have this very modular <laughs> like so that I for example could say um, I could um, deactivate lightbot for example I don't need it for my dojo now lightbot is inactive and what we'll see if we we take the, the tutorial so there we've got lightbot click it still there reload yeah it's not found and now we can update we can update the overview web page after we've done this Lightbot is gone. So the idea is that we have a lot of a lot of folders and in there we can we can put these different tutorials and activate and deactivate them as we need them so that yeah each dojo can customize its tutorials to its needs. Yeah and this should all set up very well automatically right so for example there's a announce module which broadcasts of the network which IPs you have so when you have a computer where it's installed on for example a Raspberry Pi and you just plug it in then you need to find out what is the IP address of the Raspberry Pi in my network so I can go to this website and so on, yeah. You can check this out. It is an the URL is github.com slash codadoil precious offline, so to say, <laughs> materials. Um, yeah. You can use this offline material, clone it, and there is also usage is described. Okay, that's it.